Hello everyone, my name is Hong Yu and I'm a PhD candidate working with Gennady. In this talk, I'm going to present a technique that can accurately estimate how existing optimizations or improvements in hardware capabilities affect the performance of DEN training. This is a joint work with my advisor and my mentor at Microsoft Research. Here is a brief summary of my presentation. Our project is motivated by that DEN training is highly time consuming, but the benefits of many proposed DEN optimizations are not easy to exploit for the following reasons. First, the efficacy of a DEN optimization varies when applied to different hardware software deployments. And second, it is onerous for programmers to implement and debug DEN optimizations themselves. This raises demand for a solution that can quickly identify the effective optimization for any given deployment, so that there's no need to try each optimization. And for this purpose, we propose a system called Daydream, which allows us users to quickly estimate the runtime improvements of common machine learning optimizations based on their own deployments. Our system is based on the dependency graph analysis, and we identify three unique key requirements of using dependency graph analysis in the machine learning context. So first, it needs to track dependencies at the abstraction of GPU kernels and properly construct the graph with thousands of nodes. Second, it needs to correlate the low-level kernel traces with high-level layers of DEM models. And third, it should enable machine learning programmers to easily model a very diverse set of DEN optimizations. We extensively evaluated our system with five different optimizations over five DEN models, achieving low estimation error. So now let's look at the details. DEN training is an extremely time consuming workload. So imagine a machine learning programmer who just developed a DN model on his or her machine. But since the training could take days or weeks, it's very common for him or her to ask what if questions, like how will the training performance improve if I implement certain optimizations, uh, get the latest GPUs, or using distributed training, um, et cetera. So answering these questions is not easy because you often have to spend time on implementing and debugging certain optimizations, or you need to pay for extra compute power. Luckily, exploring these what-if questions is not entirely new problem. So system researchers have been using the idea of uh, dependency graph analysis to answer performance related what if questions in some non machine learning contexts like big data uh, processing systems. And on the other hand, dependency graph structures are also very common in the machine learning context. So, for example, many DM models are specified um, using dependency graph analysis, uh, dependency graphs. And the mainstream, mainstream machine learning uh, frameworks also perform, uh, perform DN computation based on data flow graph. The similarities of the graph structures suggest that we can use the idea of dependency graph analysis for our system. However, we identify several unique challenges and opportunities uh, when using this approach in the machine learning context. So the first challenge is that we need to build the graph with nodes at the uh, abstraction of GPU kernels. There are usually thousands of CUDA APIs and GPU kernels in just one training iteration, meaning that the graph will be huge and the dependencies need to be tracked across all these traces and different threads and strings. The second challenge is that some optimizations operate at kernel uh, level granularity, but still requiring the knowledge of DEN layers. But currently, there's no profilers that can provide us with the information of which kernels belongs to which layers. The third challenge is that there are various DEN optimizations. Each of them uses a unique, uh, their own unique technique for their own optimization goals. The diversity of uh, the DN optimizations 
raises the challenge that the system should allow users to easily model the common potential optimizations. We propose a system called Daydream to address these challenges. It takes two inputs. The first one is a DEN training work uh, implementation X, and the second one is an optimization Y. And the output is the estimation of runtime when applying Y to X. So given X, uh, Daydream will first run the profiler on top of it, collecting profiling data and generate both kernel level traces and layer level traces. And then Daydream correlates the low level traces with high level um, DEN layers, generating Daydream's dependency graph. The users will use Daydream's transformation primitives to depict the given optimization. The primitives will alter the dependency graph. And finally, Daydream simulates the post optimization graph to output a final uh, estimation. And now let's look at the challenges in details. The first challenge is that with Daydream has to track dependency graph across thousands of low level traces and different hardware. So here are two figures showing the kernel level traces of uh, training ResNet 50 and Bird Lodge. There are thousands of GPU kernels and CUDA APIs in just one training iteration. Uh, meaning the graph will be extremely complicated. Uh, but we notice that the GPU kernels in the training, uh, DN training workloads are usually highly serialized. Such serialization property is due to the, the, the GPU kernels are mostly compute intensive. Hence, they are usually carefully crafted to fully utilize the GPU resources, leaving very limited space for concurrent kernels. Now this greatly simplifies our constructions of the dependency graph. So based on this observation, we identify six types of uh, uh, dependencies that we need to track so that Daydream can accurately replay the execution. So first, any con two consecutive CUDA APIs on the same CPU thread will have a dependency between them. And second, and similarly, two consecutive GPU kernels or CUDA memory copies on the same GPU screen will have a dependency between them. And third, each GPU kernels or CUDA memory copy is invoked by a corresponding CUDA API. But therefore, there should be dependency from a launching API to its GPU kernel. Fourth, when calling a synchronization call on CPU thread, the thread will wait for GPU kernels to complete by creating a dependency from GPU kernel to a CPU call. And then we have dependencies from CPU tasks to uh, communication calls because we aim to estimate uh, the security training runtime and CPU to CPU dependencies across different threads for completeness. These six types of dependencies allows the daydream to accurately replay the execution and estimate the total runtime. The second challenge is that uh, the, the, the correlation between uh, low level traces and uh, DEN layers. This is required because um, the DEN optimizations might operate at a uh, kernel level, but they, they need to know which kernels belongs to which layers. So Daydream uh, addresses this challenge using a synchronization free mapping. So let's use this timeline for example. So suppose K0 and K1 belongs to uh, layer L0. So we first time the start and stop as uh, uh, timestamps of layer zero and get all the CPU tasks that belongs to this layer. And then using the dependency information, uh, we, fir uh, we find all the GPU kernels launched uh, by this layer and map them to uh, layer zero as well. So this approach is uh, introduced very little overhead because we only instrument um, per layer timestamps to the frameworks. And there's no alternation to the dependency graph because we didn't um, inject any synchronizations. And the third challenge is that um, we need to handle potential very diverse set of DN optimizations. So to help users to convenient, uh, conveniently depict uh, common optimizations, we propose several transformation primitives. 
including selecting tasks of so interest, uh, changing task duration, changing dependency graph topology, and reschedule the execution of graph nodes. These primitives look very simple, but actually very powerful. In our paper, we show that we can depict 10 different optimization examples using these primitives, and each of them with around 20 lines of code. Finally, we evaluate Daydream using five um, different DN optimizations. So uh, in this figure, the x-axis shows the different uh, combinations of optimizations and workloads. The y-axis shows the uh, iteration time. So when using automatic mixed precision on BERT base model, we achieve 1.5 um, for speed, uh, x speed up. And using Daydream, we predict the speed up to be 1.63x. The difference is only 5 to 5, 5.5%. Uh, we did the same analysis for when using AMP on other three um, DM models. And we also evaluate fuse atom and reconstructing rat norm optimizations. Um, in general, Daydream achieves 8% estimation error on average and 15 maximum. We also evaluated Daydream in a distributed environment. And for more details and results, please refer to our paper. So this concludes my video. And thanks for everyone for watching. I'm, I'm happy to take any questions.